Hey guys, it's Lauren here with Whiskey Watch, and today we're going to talk about scotches, specifically Isla scotches. Now, when we think of scotches, we often associate them with smoky and peaty flavors and aromas, and those are the flavors that are most present in Isla scotches. Isla scotches are just scotches from Isla, which is an island on the west coast of Scotland. It's known for its kind of mild, damp, climate. It gets a lot of rain and wind and the vegetation on the island decays and breaks down and forms this kind of black muck that's cut into bricks and harvested and then dried. Those dried bricks are used as a fuel source called peat and Isla scotches are made with barley that's dried over peat which gives them that signature smoky flavor. My favorite Isla scotches right? Number three is actually a tie between Ardbeg and Bricklotti. They're both really great beginner Isla scotches. They're herbal and floral, but they still have enough of that smokiness that you know exactly where they came from. My only complaint is that I do not like the Bricklotti bottle. It looks like a shampoo bottle and they should probably change it. Number two, Laphroaig. Laphroaig is the ultimate smoke bomb scotch. It's smoky and absolutely delicious, and it works fantastically in a cocktail like a penicillin. My number one choice for Isla scotches, which is actually one of my number one scotches and even whiskeys of all time, is Lagavulin. Lagavulin is smoky and savory and a little bit spicy, and it is absolutely fantastic. I like to drink it neat. Um, it's also great with like just a drop or two of really cold water to kind of open up the flavor. It is absolutely fantastic and definitely worth checking out. 